Chapter 1, A Chance Encounter In the picturesque streets of Paris, where the aroma of freshly baked bread wafted through the air and the sound of street musicians added a magical touch, a young woman named Emma strolled, absorbing the beauty of the city. Emma was an American, traveling alone for the first time. She had always dreamed of visiting Paris, and now that she was finally here, she felt a mixture of excitement and nervousness. Emma didn't speak much French, just the basics she had learned in high school, but she was determined to make the most of her trip. One afternoon, while exploring a quaint neighborhood near Montmartre, she wandered into a small, charming café. The walls were adorned with vintage posters, and the scent of coffee and pastries filled the air. As she approached the counter to order, she realized she had forgotten how to ask for what she wanted in French. Panic set in, and she fumbled with her phrasebook. Just then, a tall, handsome man with tousled dark hair and warm brown eyes approached the counter. Noticing her struggle, he smiled and spoke to her in English. Can I help you? he asked, his voice smooth and reassuring. Emma sighed in relief. Yes, please. I was trying to order a coffee and a croissant, but my French is terrible. The man chuckled. No problem. I can help you with that. He turned to the barista and effortlessly placed her order in perfect French. Thank you so much, Emma said, grateful for his assistance. I'm Emma, by the way. Nice to meet you, Emma. I'm Julian, he replied, extending his hand. Are you visiting Paris? Yes, I am, Emma said, shaking his hand. It's my first time here, and I don't speak much French. Well, you're in luck, Julian said with a grin. I happen to be a tour guide. If you need any help or recommendations, I'd be happy to assist. Emma's eyes lit up. Really? That would be amazing. Chapter 2 Exploring Together Over the next few days, Julian became Emma's unofficial tour guide. They explored the city's iconic landmarks, from the Eiffel Tower to the Louvre, and discovered hidden gems that only a local would know. Julian's knowledge of Paris and his passion for its history and culture made each outing an adventure. As they wandered through the city, Emma found herself increasingly drawn to Julian. He was kind, patient, and had a way of making her feel at ease despite the language barrier. They communicated in a mix of English and the few French words Emma knew, often relying on gestures and laughter to fill in the gaps. One evening, as the sun set over the Seine, Julian took Emma to a charming little restaurant tucked away in a quiet alley. The soft glow of candlelight and the sound of a jazz band playing in the background created a romantic atmosphere. This place is beautiful, Emma said, looking around in awe. I'm glad you like it, Julian replied, smiling at her. I thought it would be the perfect spot for our last dinner together. Emma's heart sank at the thought of leaving Paris and saying, Goodbye to Julian. She had grown so fond of him in such a short time. As they enjoyed their meal, they shared stories about their lives and dreams. Emma told Julian about her job as a graphic designer and her love for art, while Julian spoke about his work as a tour guide and his dream of opening his own art gallery someday. Paris has a way of inspiring people. Julian said, gazing at Emma. I can see that it's had an effect on you too. It really has, Emma agreed. I've fallen in love with this city and its people. 
Chapter 3, A Growing Connection As the days passed, Emma and Julian's bond deepened. They spent their days exploring museums, strolling through parks, and enjoying picnics by the river. Emma was captivated by Julian's charm and his genuine love for Paris. He, in turn, was enchanted by her adventurous spirit and her enthusiasm for experiencing new things. One afternoon, while walking through the Jardin de Tilleries, Julian suddenly stopped and looked at Emma with a serious expression. Emma, there's something I need to tell you, he said, his voice hesitant. Emma's heart skipped a beat. What is it, Julian? I know we come from different worlds and there's a language barrier between us, but I can't deny how I feel about you, Julian confessed. I've fallen for you, Emma. Emma felt a surge of emotions as his words sank in. She had been trying to ignore her growing feelings for Julian, fearing that their time together was too fleeting. I feel the same way, Julian, Emma admitted, her voice trembling. But what happens when I have to go back to New York? We'll figure it out, Julian said, taking her hands in his. I don't want to lose what we have. We can make this work, no matter the distance. Emma nodded, tears of happiness and uncertainty filling her eyes. She knew it wouldn't be easy, but she was willing to take the risk for the chance to be with Julian. Chapter 4, The Language of Love With their feelings out in the open, Emma and Julian made the most of their remaining time together. They decided to spend a weekend in the countryside, visiting a charming village that Julian had always wanted to show her. The village was like something out of a fairy tale, with cobblestone streets, quaint cottages, and blooming gardens. Emma felt like she had stepped into a different world, and she was grateful to share it with Julian. One evening, as they sat by a fireplace in a cozy inn, Julian surprised Emma with a gift. It was a beautifully bound journal. I thought you might like this, Julian said, handing it to her. You can use it to write about your adventures and our time together. Emma opened the journal, her heart swelling with emotion. Thank you, Julian. This is perfect. As she began to write in the journal, Emma realized that despite the language barrier, she and Julian had found their own way of communicating. Their connection went beyond words, rooted in shared experiences and a deep understanding of each other's hearts. Back in Paris, their days were filled with a sense of urgency, knowing that their time together was limited. They visited art galleries, attended music concerts, and enjoyed long walks along the Seine. Each moment was precious, and they savored every second. On their last night together, Julian took Emma to the top of the Eiffel Tower. The city of lights stretched out before them, a breathtaking panorama that seemed to mirror the intensity of their emotions. Emma, I know it's going to be difficult, but I believe in us, Julian said, holding her close. We can make this work, no matter what. I believe in us too, Julian, Emma whispered, tears streaming down her face. I love you. I love you too, Emma, Julian replied, kissing her tenderly. Always and forever. Chapter 5, Distance and Longing Returning to New York was bittersweet for Emma. She missed Julian terribly, but they stayed in touch through daily phone calls, texts, and video chats. They shared their days, their thoughts, and their dreams, finding comfort in knowing that they were still connected despite the miles between them. Emma threw herself into her work, 
using her art to express her feelings and cope with the distance. She often found herself sketching scenes from Paris and portraits of Julian, each drawing a reminder of their love. Julian, too, was busy with his work as a tour guide, but he never missed an opportunity to talk to Emma. He sent her photos of the places they had visited together and little reminders of their time in Paris. Despite the challenges, their love grew stronger. They made plans to visit each other whenever they could, counting down the days until they could be together again. Chapter 6 Reunited After months of being apart, Emma finally returned to Paris for a visit. The moment she saw Julian waiting for her at the airport, all the longing and heartache melted away. They embraced tightly, their hearts beating as one. Welcome back, Emma, Julian said, his voice filled with emotion. I've missed you so much. I've missed you too, Julian, Emma replied, tears of joy in her eyes. It's so good to be back. Their reunion was everything they had hoped for and more. They spent their days revisiting their favorite spots in Paris and discovering new ones. Each moment was a testament to their love and their determination to make their relationship work. One evening, as they walked along the Seine, Julian stopped and turned to Emma, a serious expression on his face. Emma, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, he said, reaching into his pocket. Emma's heart raced as she saw him pull out a small velvet box. Julian Emma, you are the love of my life, Julian said, his voice trembling with emotion. Will you marry me and make Paris your home? Tears streamed down Emma's face as she nodded. Yes, Julian. Yes, I will marry you. Julian slipped the ring onto her finger, and they kissed, their love for each other stronger than ever. In that moment, they knew that they had found their forever in each other. Epilogue, A New Beginning Emma and Julian's love story became a beautiful example of how love can transcend borders and language barriers. They married in a charming ceremony in Paris, surrounded by friends and family from both sides of the Atlantic. Emma's family and friends traveled to Paris for the wedding, and Julian's loved ones welcomed them with open arms. The celebration was a blend of cultures, filled with laughter, love, and the promise of a bright future together. Emma and Julian continued to build their life in Paris, combining their passions for art and history. Emma opened her own art studio, where she created and taught, while Julian pursued his dream of opening an art gallery. Together, they built a life filled with love, creativity, and adventure. Their journey was not without its challenges, but they faced each one with the same determination and love that had brought them together. They learned to navigate the complexities of a bilingual relationship, finding joy in the blend of their languages and cultures. As the years passed, their love only deepened. They traveled the world, exploring new places and creating memories that would last a lifetime. Through it all, they remained each other's rock, their love a constant source of strength and inspiration. Emma often reflected on how a chance encounter in a Parisian café had led to the greatest adventure of her life. She had found not only the love of her life, but also a partner who shared her dreams and supported her in every way. And so, in the city of love, Emma and Julian lived there happily ever after, their hearts forever intertwined, their love a testament to the power of connection and the beauty of finding one's soulmate in the most unexpected places.